welcome back to a grand life sponsored by Froz. Our transport's arrived and boy is it a beauty. We're travelling in style today folks. I can't reveal too much about it, very hush hush in every possible sense, but if I were to purchase a high spec military conveyance for my own personal use, well the only thing it's missing is some interior carpeting. I'm actually recording from inside of this thing, can you believe how quiet it is? Oh. Okay, sorry, uh, are we about to touch down? Uh, right, I, I understand, yes. Well, kids, I'm sorry, but I think I'll have to catch up with you later. The mission's going to be uh, just a little bit sensitive, so uh, until next time. Plant Grant, the Grant trademark, and all associated words and opinions are the sole intellectual property of Maricano unless expressly stated otherwise. All rights reserved, except those of Plant Grant, which are reserved by Maricano. The Surgeon General strongly advises against the participation in and glorification of war. Julian, if you're hearing this, I can only assume that I've survived. It could go either way at this point. They've sent us on a drocking stealth mission with a war droid who thinks explosives are a form of greeting. Well, whatever. Nemo seems to be in his element here, maybe he can lead the charge. Now, how did this say to move to avoid creating a noise? Uh, heel, toe, mindful of the balance... Yes, I think I've got it. <laughs> Lewis tried to catch my DNA profile. <laughs> Good luck with that. You know, I asked Kingston if it's legal to copyright a person. Didn't even blink, the bastard. He just started printing. You know, they installed a printer in that wheelchair of his. Out it came. Reams and reams of legalese. It must have been a wad six inches thick. I had to send off a runner to load in more paper. And then he just rode off. Not a word. I read the entire thing. It's bloody airtight. So we're... Uh, well, we're planet side, so it's all some interesting variation of a grey, brown or green wasteland. This one has a... like a mansion or something? Looks like it might have been nice at some point, but god it's a state now. Nemo's run off ahead. We muffled screams over the comms sometimes, so I uh, guess that means he's enjoying himself, but uh, he had that look when he left. You get to recognise it. I think we have the same conditioning. Why did they even give me combat programming anyway? I swear, sometimes I think they just picked an off-the-shelf clone profile and spliced in some cheekbones. Hope for the best. You know, if I see a drawn weapon, I just find a weapon in my hand now. It's not even a conscious action. You can't tell me that won't be problematic at some point. I'd be lucky if I don't find myself trying to gut someone with a mic when we get out of this. He's reporting some things back. Uh, doesn't sound like there are many people up there. Something about the uniforms not being right. No insignia isn't. Oh no. No, no, he wouldn't, would he? I mean, this all seems a bit too convenient, right? Empty compound, token security detail who will look not, but don't quite have all the details right? Personal camcorder recording all our actions, nobody will say why. And here we are, big damn heroes rescuing the big cheese from the front. Oh, that motherfucker. This is all a set, isn't it? This is a fucking show. He's doing the same thing I am, but he's made himself the star. Oh, that miserable son of a bitch. Well, the guards must be actors. They pay people enough and they would be willing to put their lives on the line just to get into show business. I can't believe he's actually doing something so reckless. I can't believe we didn't think of it first. Jesus Christ, I really am going to kill him. It'll be hell on the brand, but you know what? Fuck it. It'll be worth it. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's play along for now, shall we? What else can I do? <sighs> they got me wrapped up in some kind of shapeless webbing. They say it helps me blend in, and I say it makes my thighs look chunky. We couldn't have gone with cat suits, seriously. I could pull off a cat suit. Oh, well, what? Uh, why is that thing hovering right behind me? What are you doing? Hey, are you recording for Bucky, huh? Yeah, is that it? Well, how about I tell you about the great taste of Froze, yeah? Oh, we're promoting a rival brand to ruin your footage. Hey, hey, come on, react, would you? We're in an abandoned building. Seems like stealth has somehow been a success. I'm legitimately astounded. Oh, oh, wonderful. Nemo's dragging in a body. Look, do you boys want me to, you know, go undercover? I mean, I've betrayed Nautas before. I can speak the language, so... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we could wipe off most of his blood? Yeah, I think I've got it. So, uh, step out, take Cuppy's patrol route, get his friend out of the way, yeah? Is that right? Yeah, okay, right, I've got that. Okay. Oh god, this had better work, right. Oh, 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 uh, ah, uh, yes, uh, I copy. Moving to the far corner of the compound. Signs of movement in the shadows. Heading to investigate. Please assist. Over. I, yes, I suppose I would sound different for 
some reason? Oh, thank heavens, Nemo's stabbing him. Okay, so now I know what one of them actually sounds like. That's a plus. Maybe we didn't think this one through. So, what, you two are going to sneak over to the main building there? Oh, what, me? No, I'm not sneaking anywhere. I'm supposed to be here, right? And it's linking around in a uniform. You try explaining that one. I'm just glad this helmet has my face. Maybe I can get some dust on my visor, cover my skin tone up a bit. Well, this is a shithole. Is this compound strategically significant or what? <laughs> hey, can you, uh, can you guys see any cameras around here? Oh, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Just, just thinking aloud. Alright, so there's a habitation pod over there. Three guys inside, right? Yeah, give me a minute. I'll see if I can bring them over. Yeah, um, just remind me. What's my name again? Right, yeah, yeah, name badge. I've got it. Right, thanks. Pyak Tung. Pyak Tung. Assistance required. Man down. Yeah, danke schön, comrade. No response from patrol in ten minutes. Unable to establish radio contact. Please assist. I intend to investigate the northern perimeter and conduct a search. Yeah, please, all accompany me. There is safety in numbers, brothers. I do not know where they have fallen, but I know the last report was from the other side of the nearest tower, and I accept that the radio may be malfunctioning, but you know those south of buffoons. Perhaps they got lost and blundered into our operation on the way to some insignificant errand or other, yeah? And now, quickly, brothers, stick to the wall here. Use the shadows to your advantage. If there is an opponent, we will surely get a drop on them. Oh, well done, boys. And now you, my friend. Weapon on the ground, two finger grip, and three steps backwards if you would be so kind. And don't do anything silly. Well, hello, darlings. You're joining me live for a very special interview with a genuine, not a defector. So, sweetheart, if you... Uh... <laughs> well, no, I'm not a not a darling. That's very perceptive of you. So, what tipped you off? Was it the accent or the fact that I'm wearing your colleague's bloodstained uniform? Oh, goodness me, you people really are our intellectual superiors, aren't you? Now then, uh, in your own time, and don't worry, I'm quite fluent in uh, Nortese. <laughs> so, uh, can you please tell me how many people you're employing here? Oh, I'm sorry, love. I think you're off by at least four, but uh, that's real close, honey. And uh, how about the purpose of this operation here? Uh, what's the point of all this? Oh, kidnapping. Really? So, uh, who's your buyer? Uh, darling, I don't care about what any Platov thinks. I want to know what you know. You, uh, you seriously took this job on and you don't even know who you're working for? Gosh, aren't you a trusting soul? Very well, then. Do you at least know who you've kidnapped? Ah, uh, yes, very good. Just as we suspected, but it's nice to have it confirmed. And uh, where would we find this Platov and this uh, VIP of yours? Uh, right, underground. Very good. Oh, uh, brought along... Cinnabar? Really? <laughs> so let me be absolutely clear here. The VIP, whose name I'm not at liberty to, uh, to divulge, was recovered from a resort catering to both North and South of debauchery during a time of war in which they're famously currently serving as part of the Nortifying Forces. Well, that's uh, just a little bit naughty, isn't it? Goodness, imagine what that would do to a person's reputation. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, I'm, no, no, that's nothing that concerns you. It's uh, just a little bit of flavour for the folks back home. Okay, so that's who you are, what you're doing, where the objective is. Uh, yes, I think that's about all we need. Well, darling, you've been a wonderful interviewee, but uh, I'm sorry, I think that's all we have time for. Nemo, he's been cooperative, so uh, do try to make it quick, won't you? Alright, Julian, I'm back. I've got some decent intel from one of the grunts. A bunch of defecting mercs trying to make an easy bunch of credits. Can't really blame them, there aren't many clean ways out of this mess. We're underground now. No idea what the building was designed for, but there's a lift here, I think. Well, that's the element of surprise gone right out the window. Might as well ditch the disguise while I'm at it. Last thing I want is that pompous ass thinking that I'm batting for the wrong team. I think he has got himself kidnapped, you know. Still not ruling out the idea that it was intentional. He's been out of the spotlight for long enough that he would be willing to do, to, uh, do something this drastic, but... Uh, look, if I don't make it back, but you somehow receive this recording, just let the wider press know, okay? Former Kid Vid star Rab Custer, abducted from illicit speakeasy in Cinnabar and rescued by brave South hero Platt Grand, tragically slain in a line of duty. <laughs> yeah. If I'm gonna burn out, I'm gonna burn out bright, Julian. <laughs>